Showtime in more ways than one. Not only is there a new episode of Juice TV coming your way, but so is the Ecker Party as all the fun and craziness of the show comes to the hospital. Then Phoebe, Abby and Georgie are making the news. Literally. What's up? I'm Isabella and today I've got a little something for you. Another episode of Juice TV. This is my fourth time on the show. Last time I made puppets with Carly Sparkle, got dressed up as Elsa and I was the host of Juice TV. I'm your host once again and let me bring you up to speed with all things me. 11 year old Isabella loves playing soccer, percussion and being the awesome host of this episode of Juice TV. My favourite actor is Robin Williams because I absolutely loved him and Patch Adams and how he made laughter the best medicine. My most embarrassing moment is when I was at the supermarket with my dad and I accidentally knocked over a whole stack of coke. It was very embarrassing and my dad had to pick them up all for me. I'd rather lick my toes than pick my nose because my toes are always clean. I do have a best party trick, but it's a little bit disgusting. So if you have a weak stomach, look away now. It's Ecker time. And sure, there are ways to experience Ecker fun inside the hospital. There's rides. There's lots of fun stuff in the Isabella show bag. We've got mermaids, books, round puzzles, and puppet. That can be a lot of work. Thankfully, we didn't have to go to that much effort. Let me show you what I mean. Hi, I'm Cal. It's showtime. The Ecker is here. I mean, right here, right now. Right here at the hospital. Every year, all the fun and excitement of the ECA visits the hospital. The ECA is Queensland's biggest event, jam-packed full of entertainment and fun. The ECA party has seen all that squeezed into the hospital. makes this extra special is that we get a whole lot of one-on-one -on -one hang time with the performers. Hi Keely, can you tell us a little bit about your music? Well hi Kale, uh, yeah so I've been singing since I was about three and you know it's just amazing. Music's sort of my therapy and where I got my inspiration from is just you know like, like us that we have childhood cancer and just sitting down and writing that's all I do in my free time is write songs. Kelly, what type of music do you like to write? I like writing country music, so I'm trying to improve country music across Queensland and even Australia because country music has has its effects on people and some people don't even like country music, but that's what I'm trying to get, is make it sort of country pop so that I know, you know, there's something that kids can, can dance to. What, what do you like about performing? Uh, probably the audience. I like, um, I've performed up to 50 to 25,000 people and just, you know, the audience is just amazing and, yeah, so you just try and interact with the audience as much as you can or you get a bit nervous. Thank you so much for being on Juice Tequila. Thank you for having me. Brand 
Brendan. Brendan, what is your role at the X? Hi, my uh, my role is the chief executive of the RNA. Uh, so that means I look after all the things that happen at the ECA. So it's a really, really fun job. How long have you been at the ECA? I've been at the ECA for 12 years now, so it's quite a long time. But it's uh, every year is so fun, and you know you get to see all these kids like you having fun at the ECA. So it's such a great job. Why do you bring the ECA to the house? Well, we want everyone and every kid to be able to enjoy the ECA and I know there's a lot of sick kids at the hospital who won't get to go to the ECA this year. So we think if we can just bring part of the ECA to those kids, they get to have fun as well. So, you know, it's, it's some, a small thing that we can do to, to give some kids who are pretty sick have a, have a good day. What do you love most about the ECA? I, I really love the animals, so all the big cattle and the small animals I really love. But my, I've got three girls, three daughters, and they love the rides and the show bags. So there's something for everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was our pleasure to come along here today. Reporting. Um, we're here playing it with the clowns, playing with the balls, and to try and get them into the mouse and get them to get more points and then get some prizes. Hi Jeff, what's the secret of doing with the clowns? Well, I'd say it's uh, a little bit of timing and a positive attitude, and certainly a lot of the kids here have just about what it takes to win a prize. As you can see, lots of smiling kids today. I see that the clowns are going. <laughs> That's right, well we can't make it too easy, but um, honestly I think it's a great game and a lot of the kids seem to enjoy it. Now we're playing Knock 'em Down. Yay. Hello Chicken, what's your name? Okay, since you don't have a name, I'm going to call you Fluffy. Are you going to speak? Hi Madonna, what are you doing at the Yakka party today? Oh, we're here today to have some fun with the kids. We've got all these little puppies to give away and we've been giving show bags out in the wards. That sounds great. What's this kind of thingy over here? So what happens with this is um, if there's something suspicious and we don't know what it is, instead of the police going up to it, we send this big contraption in and, um, and it tests and, and checks it all out. It's just a bit of a safer way than just going straight in and looking at something that might be dangerous for us. Well, that sounds cool. Continue now with. Whoa. Whoa, but. but no, it's not. Seems like something's trying to break into our signal. <laughs> that probably shouldn't have been there. <laughs> Seems like we have an incoming transmission from Abby and Georgie. We interrupt this Juice TV episode with some breaking news. It's a massive exclusive. actually how to put a news report together. Thankfully our breaking news is all about going behind the scenes of the news. Let's check out how it's done. We're taking you on a tour behind the scenes at Channel 9 Studios. Thank you. 
So Jamie, where are we right now? Okay. We're in Studio 41 in Brisbane. This does the news service each night and in the afternoons. It does the four 11 o'clock bulletin, the four o'clock bulletin and the six o'clock bulletin. We put the whole thing to air. We've got a lot of people behind the scenes, as in producers working in the newsroom. There's probably 50 staff over there all working all day to put the bulletin together. And my job is to get it to air. What buttons turns things off? Well, there's lots of buttons that turn things on and off. Um, Tony, who's our vision switcher, he, he pushes all the buttons. Tony does all the effects and all the different things that you see um, that go to air and the playouts and all the, all the different, different um, parts that make up the news. So, Jamie, what is your job? Um, my job as news director is to put the program to air. And there's a lot of people in the control room. We have different people in audio, vision switching, director's assistant, and a technical director. So all these people make it up, and a producer, of course, which puts it to air. So what is super on and super off? So super is the names that go down the bottom of the screen, as in the Prime Minister, the Premier of Queensland, all those different people that are on the stories have their name. So what happens with the breaking news? Okay, breaking news happens uh, a lot these days because we have more links and we have more reporters on the, uh, out on the road. And when something happens, we can cross to the helicopter or we can cross to um, a, a, a machine called a Digero. And basically that's a little link box that uses your SIM card, just the same out of your mobile phone. You can do a live, live cross to the chopper and to the reporter using that, using those. So we try and do as many um, breaking news as we can. If something happens, we try to get it early to air as early as possible, um, obviously to try and beat the other stations. Um, so Kieran, what's your job here? Uh, I'm a floor manager cameraman. Uh, what sort of equipment do you use? We use three cameras, which you can see here. There's one beside us going up and down and it wheels around the floor and we zoom in and we focus on the news readers. We do lots of different shots. Um, so the three cameras will be listening to a director via these headphones and we can talk to the director via a radio and we move the camera quietly uh, to that shot. So how do you talk to the news readers while they're on air? Uh, you've got to be very careful. There's times you can talk to them if there's what's called a sound on tape story and we know that because we all have a rundown and we can see if it's a sound story or if they're talking over the vision and the story. So we know when it's safe to talk to them. But if they're on air and they're reading to camera and I've got to give them a signal, we do talk in sign, la sign language, inverted commas. There's lots of different things we do. That means a cue, start, all right? If I do it at the bottom of the lens, it means start voiceover. Okay, so that's a cue to start, that's a start voiceover. That's obviously stop, okay. That is stretch. So if they've got to, say if they're doing a news break, an update during the day, and they haven't run to time, or I want them to go longer in the bulletin, I'll do the stretch sign. So they've actually got to ad lib, or read slower, stretch it out. So what do these words on the screen mean? The words on the screen, this is called an auto cue or a cue word, depending on what brand it is. And that's what the news readers read from. It's tailored to the news reader's speed. Now, if you watch that, if I was to read slowly, it would move very slowly. If I was to read like a chipmunk, <laughs> and back down, it would move slowly. So we tailor it, the operator tailors it, so the news reader can read at their speed. Now, our hosts know how the news is put together, but they need to discover what happens when it's time to present it. Later, they'll catch up with news presenter Melissa Downs to get some tips on bringing you the news. you to be a part of Juice TV. We're always on the lookout for hosts, interviewers, behind the scenes helpers and mini producers. You can be any age, you don't have to have any experience. How much easier could it be? To find out the next time we're filming at the hospital, just head to our website, juicedtv.com.au or our Facebook page. For loads of fun to break up your stay in hospital, join the Juice crew. 
Send us an email at hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to any of the volunteers wearing green shirts throughout the hospital and let them know you want to be involved in the one and only Juice TV. Like I said, this is my fourth time on Juice. We always get to do fun and silly things and I always have the best time. Georgie, Abby and their sisters are still discovering everything about the news. Let's catch up with them again in the most newsy way I know how. I E R O Ma Ma. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. We now cross back to Abby, Georgie, and the gang. We're live on the scene at Channel Nine Studios. Earlier, we started our behind-the-scenes tour of Channel Nine to find out how the news is put together. Now our hosts are finding how to deliver it with a little help from Melissa Downs. Have you always wanted to be a broadcast journalist? No. Um, when I was young, I actually wanted to be um, a school teacher or a kindy teacher. And then I wanted to be a Japanese interpreter. And then I wanted to be a full-time volleyball player. And then I finished school, started studying. And once I started the degree, that's when I knew that I loved it. Have you ever made a, a blooper on live TV? Yes, I, um, you know, I've been relatively lucky. I haven't done anything outrageous, but um, I mean, even the other night I was getting ready to start the bulletin and it started with me and I kind of went, good evening, and I had, I had to go, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, <clears throat> good evening, da da da, and started the bulletin. So little things like that have happened, but I've never, I've never done anything like sneeze on air. I've never sneezed on air or, I don't know, fallen off my chair or anything like that. So I think I've been quite lucky. I've been quite lucky. <laughs> my dream is to be a broadcast, broadcast journalist. Do you have any tips for me? Yes, um, never give up. <laughs> and I think if you love writing and you love reading, to do all of that. And it is, it's a tough industry to get into. There aren't a lot of jobs, so you have to try and try and try again. I did a lot of work experience. I did whatever I could that I thought would, would give me more skills and, um, and be a better employee than the person next to me. Is there a story you will never forget in your career as a journalist? Do you know, when I was a young journalist, someone said to me, the most important story you'll ever do is the story you're doing today. And I think that that stuck with me because whatever story you're doing is the most important story because it's your responsibility as the journalist to tell that story in the, the truest way that you can. Um, and so you need to take each story as seriously as the next one. There are certainly some stories that, that um, stay with you and I find the ones that do are, are the ones where people really touched your heart. Are you ever lost for words when writing a story? Yes, yes, I think sometimes you are. And what I always try to remember is that with television particularly, it's about you having a conversation with the people at home. Were you nervous when you first started reading the news? Yes, I was. And I have a distinct memory. I think it was about the third time I'd ever read a bulletin. And the auto cue, which you know we showed you before, um, it was the very beginning of the news and you have to say good evening and in those days you actually introduce yourself. You'd say good evening, I'm Melissa Downs and then you'd start reading the bulletin. And so I'd been watching the opener as it went to air and as I looked up to say those first few words, the auto cue was just rolling <laughs> like this. And I felt this rush of adrenaline sort of come through my body. Are there any things that you find ch challenging on the news? I think... Um, you know how we were talking before about because news is live, things happen or go wrong or um, the bulletin is often, it changes as you're in it. They're challenges, but to me that's also the exciting part of the bulletin. I like that about it, that it's live and that you never know how it's going to be every night. Does Andrew Loftus wear board shorts with his suit and tie? I have never seen him with board shorts on, but I have seen him with jeans on, so... <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Abby. Water inside a sinkhole that forced an Ipswich couple to evacuate their home is being pumped out as authorities continue to assess the area. The former NFL player confirmed he would join the Titans. Those stories and more in Nine News tonight at six. 
Melissa needed to powder her nose, so she took us to the makeup room. This is where this is where we sit. This is where Linda creates her magic. Even the King Wally Lewis wears makeup on air, all right? Because it, even the boys do, because otherwise they would look very shiny. <laughs> Then we were off to wardrobe. I do have every colour of the rainbow, I know. <laughs> And dresses, you know, and when I first started, no one wore dresses. It was just all jackets or, or a top like this. You never know who you might meet. Wally has to colour coordinate with his tie. So he sees what I'm wearing and then says, which one do you think? Sometimes he'll have a few, sometimes he'll, uh, you know. And my colour coordination skills aren't all that. Now that we've discovered everything we need to know, it's time to bring you our breaking news. Good evening, I'm Abby and welcome to Channel 9 News. I'm Phoebe. And I'm Georgie. This just in. We've discovered what it takes to bring you a news update. It takes a lot of hard work to get into journalism. It takes a lot of work and a lot of machinery to get the news to air. And it takes a lot of people to put the news together. That's all for 9 News tonight. I'm Phoebe. I'm Abby. And I'm Georgie. Have a fantastic evening. Awesome update. Thanks, girls. Just before I get out of here, I'd like to say keep smiling and have fun. I've loved hanging out with you today on Drew's TV. Until next time, I'm Isabella. Bye. My favourite movie... <laughs> OK. My most embarrassing moment is when I I was there. I was there. Hi, my daughter. Um, I see. Okay. Rihanna here from site reporting from Side Show Alley. Here at the Eka playing. Remember guys, it's so easy to be a part of Juice TV. Whether you want to be a host, help us out behind the scenes with filming, or decide what goes into each episode, let us know you want to be involved by sending an email to hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to one of the friendly volunteers throughout the hospital in the green shirts. Also head to our website and Facebook page for all the updates about what we're filming at the hospital.